Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I'm Anessa Jepi, the announcer for the English broadcast here at Cosmos TV. Just like in 2020, during 2021, Cosmos TV, operated by the Multicultural General Welfare Center, is hosting the journey with Cosmos TV and Multicultural Family Rights Season 2 program, sponsored by the Anti-Corruption and Civil Rights Commission. In 2021, it is produced and broadcasted in seven languages, including Korean, Japanese, Filipino, French, Thai, Vietnamese, and English. In the second episode, we invited Shin Han Jin, the Immigration Investigation Officer from the Immigration Policy Headquarters of the Ministry of Justice, and interviewed him on whether illegal foreigners could be vaccinated against COVID-19. In the third episode, we would like to invite an official from the Korean Institute for Healthy Family under the Ministry of Gender Equality and Family, who runs the Danary Helpline, in order to find out more about the Danary Helpline. Hello and welcome. Thank you for accepting to be interviewed here at Cosmos TV. Could you please introduce yourself first? Greetings, I'm Kim Yoon Kyung, the head of the Family Counseling Division at the Korean Institute of Healthy Family. Nice to meet you. Thank you. It is a pleasure meeting you, Ms. Kim. You said you were the head of the Family Counseling Division at the Korean Institute for Healthy Family. As this sounds a bit unfamiliar, could you please introduce the Korean Institute for Healthy Family? The Korean Institute for Healthy Family is a public institution that provides various family policy services so that all families can live a stable life. In order to make Korea a country where all families are happy, we are working on tight family policies such as strengthening family service expertise, creating an inclusive social culture without discrimination or prejudice against family diversity, and operating the Danuri Helpline, 1577 one three six six. Yes, thank you. So, in short, it is a place where people are involved in activities that strengthen family service expertise and creates an inclusive social culture about family diversity. When we think of Korean Institute for Healthy Family, what first crosses our minds is the Danary Helpline. Can you acquaint us with this helpline, more specifically one five seven seven one three six six? The Danuri Helpline started in 2006 with migrant women's emergency calls and has been providing services until now. We currently provide counseling and interpretation services in 13 languages, including Korean. We provide information about the overall life in Korea, as well as emergency support for victims of domestic abuse. International marriage counselors consult directly in their own languages, in Seoul and in six other regions across the country on 365 days. Seoul in particular operates a 24-hour call center. Call 1577-1366, the number of the Danuri helpline, to receive counseling or interpretation for all marriages, immigrants and foreigners who need help. If necessary, real-time interpretation is offered through a three-way call service, so feel free to contact if you need help. So the Danuri Helpline provides counseling and interpretation services in 13 different languages, including Korean. It seems as if the counseling is mainly done on the phone. Ms. Kim, in addition to phone counseling, do you also offer office counseling or accept visits? The most convenient method would be to reach the Danuri Helpline through 1577-1366. However, if necessary, you can also visit the counseling center physically and meet the counselor in person. If required, we even go on business trips together where interpretation is provided, a service where we visit the places in need of support. So if you're really in need of such services, please make use of them. I see. Face-to-face -face office consultation is indeed available. However, in the current COVID-19 situation, has there been any change? caused by the, this pandemic? Corona. Ever since Corona, starting from 2020, we offer telephone counseling rather than face-to-face -face consultation. For your safety, it would be better to use the phone or online counseling if possible. We only offer face-to-face -face consultation if it is really necessary. 
So COVID-19 has caused various difficulties, but counseling has been conducted continuously whilst maintaining quarantine. Moving on to another question, which language is the most used in the Danuri helpline? Our Danuri helpline provides support in 13 different languages, including Korean. Vietnam, China, and the Philippines, in that particular order, have a lot of users. So for the convenience of users, we have assigned Vietnamese and Chinese counselors the most in our call center. After COVID-19, even though there have been many inquiries in Vietnamese and Chinese, the usage rate of Russian, English, and Thai has also increased a lot. I think it's because there are many countries that use English, and there are not many institutions that support languages such as Russian and Thai. Vietnamese, Chinese, Russian, English, and Taiwanese, in that order, are the most used languages. Miss Kim, what kind of consultations do you usually hold? We hold various consultations generally related to daily help and information, but especially violence victims. Counseling related to domestic abuse, sexual violence, and prostitution account to about 10%. Moreover, we hold counseling concerning topics such as marital conflict, family conflict, divorce problems, staying problems, and legal issues. In addition to the professional support, we also provide basic information that might be needed in everyday life. As you can see, the contents of the consultations at the Danuri helpline 15771366 are so diverse and endless. We also provide interpretation between victims of domestic violence and police or doctors when hospital care is needed. In addition, we provide various information to foreigners who have difficulties after entering Korea for the first time. It looks like many consultations are being held that are associated with multicultural people. More specifically, concerning emergency assistance for domestically abused women and emergency shelters. Could you go more in depth on this topic? Most domestic violence victims who call the Danuri helpline 15771366 receive counseling or report to the police. If you can't report to the police due to language or communication problems, however, we contact the police directly with the consent of the parties. In the event of domestic violence, separation between the parties is required. If then, there is no immediate place to go, we can contact the police and connect you to an emergency shelter or the hospital if the victim is in need of immediate medical attention. If migrant women who are in an emergency shelter want to receive a couple's consultation, they can contact their spouse and such thing will be provided. As far as I understand, if women who are suffering from domestic violence receive help, they can also receive protection in specific shelters. Can you guide me through the process of how the victims are placed under this temporary shelter? <laughs> When migrant women suffer from domestic abuse, our agency offers temporary protection and sheltering. But if they need continuous protection, we connect them to emergency shelters. We provide various translation services between protection facilities and migrant women. Furthermore, if necessary, not only migrant women affected by domestic violence, but also children can be admitted together in the emergency shelters. Many people enter the hospital with their children. However, ever since the pandemic, you have to take the COVID test and enter the hospital only if you get a negative result. Thank you for guiding us through the various activities of the Korean Institute for Healthy Family. Lastly, if you have any last words that you would like to convey to our viewers, feel free to do so. As I said before, there are many topics which the consultations at our Danuri helpline cover, from very basic everyday information to very serious issues. You should take into consideration that even counselors, when they consult, face a lot of difficulties. We are doing our best to solve as many problems and provide the necessary help to the parties who use our service. 
Even when linguistical problems are not present, like in families, couples, or parents and children that speak the same language, there are still a lot of problems with communication. There is a lot of conflict which leads to violence, which then causes heavy damage. In the case of multicultural families, it is a complicated situation which requires more attention because it includes general communication problems, cultural differences, and linguistic difficulties. In order for couples themselves or children and parents to adapt well to each other, we offer interpretation and translation, or we help them understand and support the cultural differences through experienced counselors, and we hope that the parties will be able to solve the problem through trust, cooperation, and consideration. As the children of multicultural families grow up, we might think that they are growing in a place where the bilingual environment is very natural, right? In a natural bilingual environment, children learn their parents' language very well. Parents need to take care of this period and help their kids grow and nurture virtues like competitiveness and strength. You emphasized on the importance of communication between couples in multicultural families and the importance of children's education through bilingual education. Something that we could very much relate to here on Cosmos TV. Miss Kim, if you wouldn't mind saying goodbye to the viewers of Cosmos TV. Cosmos TV, 여러분, 저희... Viewers of Cosmos TV, I hope you use our Danuri helpline at 15771366. Please also do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Until now, we were joined by Kim Yoon Kyung, the head of the Family Counseling Division at the Korean Institute for Healthy Family. Thank you very much for taking the time to come and give this interview, despite their very busy schedule. Viewers of Cosmos TV, as Ms. Kim just said, the various conflicts arise in many married families, even though of common cultural background and language. In multicultural families that come from different cultural backgrounds, however, the problem is bound to become much more complicated than ordinary families. The number for solving all problems in multicultural families is that of the Danuri Helpline, 15771366. Make sure to remember it. Today, joined by Kim Yong Gyeong, the head of the Family Counseling Division at the Korean Institute for a Healthy Family under the Ministry of Gender Equality and Family, we learn more about the Danuri Helpline. Next time, we would like to invite the director of the Yongsan Domestic Violence Counseling Center to find out about the current situation of multicultural families. Everyone, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, much love.